pipe carries waste from Britain's nuclear reprocessing plant to the sea. To understand the worries of some scientists, it's necessary to understand the nature of this waste. It's contaminated water, both from the ponds used to cool the spent fuel rods and from cleaning in the plant. It consists of some of the same radioactive materials at much lower concentrations as the deadly high-level waste. High-level waste from the fuel rods has to be kept apart from the environment for hundreds of thousands of years, but low-level waste is released into the environment within government limits. The radioactive elements in the waste that concern scientists most are called the transuranic actinides. They emit alpha particles, the most dangerous of all radiation at close quarters. It's the unexpected behaviour of these actinides that's causing the present controversy. This field of science is less than 40 years old and can still give scientists unpleasant surprises. One such surprise came recently here at Maxi Flats, a low-level waste dump in America. Until recently, scientists believed that plutonium, the major actinide, would stay put in the ground. At Maxi Flats, they found they were badly wrong. In November of last year, Dr. Mayer of the US Environmental Protection Agency announced to a surprise scientific community that the plutonium here had moved, and quite quickly. At Hanford, Washington, some studies there show that plutonium would migrate uh, 10 centimeters in approximately 240,000 years. Now, it appears from the data we have at Maxi Flats that it's migrated tens to hundreds of meters in 10 to 12 years. Most early experiments had indicated that plutonium would tend to stay put in the ground. At Maxi Flats, the plutonium moved millions of times faster than expected. It's only one example of new information proving earlier assumptions to be wrong. But for Britain, perhaps the most important new finding from America is the claim that, contrary to our present belief, plutonium and other transuranic actinides don't stay locked in the sediments at the bottom of the sea. Dr. Vaughan Bowen was the official US delegate to the International Atomic Energy Agency conference on dumping radioactive waste at sea. He's one of the world's experts in the field. To my mind, the most serious ways in which our earlier predictions have been shown to be wrong are twofold. One, that uh, these elements we had originally thought were very immobile in the environment, that once they had associated with soil, with rock, with uh, marine sediments, they would stay put almost indefinitely. And this is turning out increasingly to have been wrong. They do move through soil, they do apparently move through sediment. We have a good deal of trouble now predicting directions and rates of movement. In 1952, the British government first allowed the release of radioactive low-level liquid waste into the Irish Sea. The British assumption has been that plutonium and the other actinides would sink rapidly to the bottom and stay locked in the sediment, a view now questioned by Dr. Bowen. It was was at one time assumed that this would be acceptable and perhaps even advantageous because we then believed that these elements, once in the sediments, stayed in the sediments. Uh, we have now a great deal of information indicating that this is not true, uh, that, that they are mobilized in the sediments in many cases, we don't know what the chemical processes involved may be. Uh, there, there are some data indicating that this may be a change in the reducing state of the sediment. There are some data indicating that it may be as a consequence of the release in the sediment of organic compounds that complex. But we know